professors, ladies, and gentlemen. Tonight, I have been so much privileged and pleasure to travel from Cambodia to attend this alumni, which is very special for me. 15 years ago that I left Australia upon completion of my PhD at UDS. Being a medical doctor is not enough for me because I've done a lot of C-section surgery for women with complications. To be involved in the policy makers or education, I decided to pursue my study as a public health leader. And recently, I involved in medical education at the University of Health Sciences. As you may know, Cambodia is one of the poorest country with high maternal mortality in Southeast Asia at the times that I undertook my PhD. But recently, Cambodia has made significant progress to reduce this high impact in Cambodia. Even though it is very slow, but it is very significant to reach the MDG. At UDS, I found that UDS is a very excellent university for me because I won the scholarship twice. One is ADS, Australian Development Scholarship. I undertook my Master of Public Health at the University of Health Sciences. And then I got the ALA Scholarship, Australian Leadership Award Scholarship, to undertake my PhD. And now my role is a clinician, a lecturer, and a researcher at the University of Health Sciences. To be honest, I haven't spoken English so often because at my faculty, we learn Cambodian language and French language because uh, we have special 21 specialties provided by the French government. So I'm responsible as the head of the academic and training affairs support uh, supervising medical doctors from year two to year six and year seven to year eight and postgraduate students who do their specialties in France. The, the other important thing that I remember is the network that we have built with the UDS alumni community. And because of the network, it impacts on that I can make change, exchange the experience, knowledge, and skill with the UDS. Because I think that uh, without socialization is not enough. So it is very important to keep networking. That's why I can be present in Sydney today. And last but not least, I would like to say a big thank you to my former supervisor, Professor Angela Dawson, and Caroline Homer, my co-supervisor, who always encouraged me to pursue my study, never give up, to put of your feet on the ground. And I would like to thank you to my children. Even I can bring only my little girl because I left two other children at home alone because I found that this uh, event is very special. And someone else has made everything worthwhile, my cherished wife, Melanie who give me the air which I can breathe. She selflessly put up a lot of challenges for me, and they surrender their time for me to pursue my study. And she want to hand in a bunch of flowers for me on the stage. So thank you very much.